Hi folks and welcome back to the Star Wars Library, where Star Wars is in print and we're going back to the newspaper strips today to talk about The Power Gem by Archie Goodwin. Now of course this was published uh, during July 26 uh, through October 23rd of 1982, so we're almost, we're almost done with 1982. And it's in Classic Star Wars Volume 2, The Rebel Storm. We are also almost done with this trade, then we have one more, and then we have finished the newspaper strips. So. Uh, going back to our heroes, they're still stuck on Yavin 4. They're trying to get around the Imperial blockade. Remember we kind of talked about how the Imperials are still blocking the planet Yavin, or have still been out there, because they know that the Rebels are still there. So Luke kind of has found this idea to use these things to basically uh, stop these, these Star Destroyers, or smash through them, or take them out, called Power Gems, which could basically uh, be used against the shields for the Imperials. So basically Han gets kind of sort of volunteered by Leia. Um, he volunteers, but she kind of is like, so does that mean you volunteer? And he's like, yeah, sure, whatever. So um, so Han and Chewie, they go um, to the planet called um, Anthropos. And, um, and they find this, this, this criminal known as, or this, this person known as uh, Raskar. Now, he and his gang are basically trying to get to these power gems as well. They're hot ticket items. And so uh, this power gem feels, uh, again, is kind of the whole thing of this could help with the rebel evacuation of the Abbot 4. So it's kind of a race to see who can get it. Uh, there's a lot of different things in here, such as, um, again, very medieval-esque. Um, you know, there's, there's like jousting and knights, as you can see right here. Um, it's a whole bunch of things that, again, it's just kind of, it seems like that seems, it seems to be a reoccurring theme right now, is seeing a lot of these things. But, um, but the power gem is actually something, uh, somewhat unique in the sense of, and, uh, here's an image of it here, Han Solo has it right here. So the power gem becomes something that, um, that you'll see coming back uh recurring in in the strips and stuff but you really will not see it in the modern expanding universe so it's not it's not this big thing that's gonna you know go off into other directions kind of like how lumaya came from an early expanding universe th concept you're not really going to see that with the power gem um rascal and his uh rascal or however rascal rascal uh he becomes reoccurring in this era uh, of publishing um and so there's there's some reoccurring things here but in the end you know is it a something that will impact the the you know the, the large grander expanding universe no not really um so again is this story in here is this an essential read in your star wars expanding universe uh reading or collecting uh no unless you want to know where the power gem actually came from this is a skippable story. Uh, it's not a bad story. I think it's actually a pretty good story. Um, I, I was very entertained by reading this. Um, so it's not bad. I don't think it'll be a complete waste of your time if you check it out. But is it an essential read to the overall Star Wars Legends universe? No, it is not. So um, if you want a good story, check it out. If not, it can be skipped and you can keep going on to the next thing. So folks, that is all the time I have for now. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time with another episode of the Star Wars Library.